This is the Mac Studio. The unboxing experience was extremely premium where you'll find Apple's usual paperwork and the biggest Apple sticker that I've ever seen in black. Then there's the Mac Studio itself. Finally, underneath, there's the braided power cable. So during my first impressions, it looks exactly like the Mac Mini, but with a taller form factor. Underneath, there's the Mac Studio text with the perforated holes that sucks in cool air. At the back, there's another huge strip of perforated holes for expelling heat. Then there are a ton of I.O. where there are four Thunderbolt 4 ports, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, the power port, two USB-A ports and HDMI port, a 3.5mm headphones jack, and a power button. Then on the front, there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports and an SD card slot. So, how does it perform? Well, I'm planning to do a review where I'll take the Mac Studio to its limits on this new M1 Ultra configuration, like testing it with a massive 12K video resolution files and more. So stay tuned to Adam Lobo TV for that.